Hello, hello, hello. I've just got home from work, although it's taken an hour. I was going to do an unboxing, but uh, I thought, well, if there's something wrong... Well, in fact, that's what unboxing's for, isn't it? <laughs> Make a fuss if there's something wrong and whinge, but... Um, I had a lad at work, I said, after work, I'm uh, getting a taxi down to the town centre because I've tried to leave a parcel yesterday. I was on my bike yesterday, I'll put a little clip up. No big deal, it was cold, but there was there were dry roads, so no chance to ride. But this morning, I go out at five o'clock <laughs> in the morning and rub my foot on the road, and if it's slippy, I go in for a taxi, but... That's what it was like this morning. And I uh, said to the taxi driver, can I go and collect a parcel? Okay, yes. And then home. But he went over that bloody, you know, that scenic hilltop route. He went up there and it was full of bloody snow. I thought, why has he come this way? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, we're home now after an hour. Uh, and yes, the parcel, this was through the door when I got home. That's the little clock I got. Did I show you a little clip a while back? Stuff I've ordered. I've been going a bit mad buying stuff lately, but it's it's not stuff that's not necessary. That dehumidifier has been a good buy. One of my cats were just in there playing. They love cardboard boxes, don't they? And yeah, I saw this clock, it said four centimetre diameter, and it was blue, four pound with three paws. And that was in this bag, in a little box, uh, with a little sponge doofer in. And it had a little weird backing plate. That's not necessary, is it? Because I'm just going to put a Velcro pad on the back of that. And stick it on um, the heated grips velcro probably isn't waterproof it just looks nice doesn't it can you see can you see metallic blue they had green red all different colors four pound and it's a nice solid lump of metal not i thought it'd be plastic for four pound with three pores but it's not it's metal that's the thing for my bike should I put it on my back? Should I go out in the cold? <laughs> well, where I worked on a bloody hill and it was snowing at work but not sticking, just slush. And like I said, over them hills it was awful. But down here there's no snow at all. But we'll see what it's going to be like tomorrow. Um, I keep, shouldn't keep waffling on, should I? I'll get to the point. The point is, that lad at work saying, What are you going? Must have ordered a dish from China. Oh, what? Break dish, £25. I said, yeah, with three posts, so it probably cost 20 if posts are five or so. You check, that's a life, life-saving life thing, and you're buying cheap stuff, you, you get what you pay for. I said, what if you apply the brake? <laughs> what if you apply the brake, and it goes, <coughs> and shatters into pieces, and it locks your back wheel up? I said, oh, you got me worried now. Send it back. I said, yeah, but it says stainless in the description. And of course, there's a test you can do with that. Leave it outside for a night. In fact, I might do that. And if it's full of bloody rust, you know it's not stainless the day after or by a weekend. And another point, if they are crap, then the feedback on eBay will be crap as well, saying don't buy rubbish. And I said, that's not the case. I've got a 98% uh, feedback rate. And Bandit Nev said the Chinese ones are fine. But you hear things, don't you, about Chinese steel? Is it just, maybe it's just stamped, you know, drop forged rather than actually machined and then tidied up to loot proper? Or is it laser cut? Well, that looks a bit dodgy and sharp. It's not deburred, you know, evenly. But the thing I liked about this, the one that's on now, is for a CB500, and it's just like that, and there's nothing here. So them alumin the aluminium ring on the wheel is all corroded and horrible, whereas this 
it'll sort of be protected because this will cover it all up and if it's fine at weekend I might get the back wheel off and see if the bloody allen bolts are loose you know, I can put me long reach allen you know the long reach my long lever allen keys in and see if they move and fit it myself here on the kitchen table I was going to do it on my wheelie bin in fact no maybe I'll I think I'll leave it till spring because I'm I'm not fitting my brake pads until a couple of months maybe I'm just going to play it by ear but I wanted your opinion on Chinese stuff is it going to be crap is it going to I'll find out if it rusts because I'm going to leave it out uh, for a couple of nights have you had experience of Chinese brake discs Mate, so how much are proper ones? I said proper ones. I said, well, EBCs were about 80 quid. And the proper, if I went to and said I want, you know, to a Honda dealer, and said I want a Honda or a supply by Honda disc, I bet you'd be talking 180, if not more. But, uh, what's that? Minimum thickness 4.5 mil. LYZ, Liz. Is that made by Liz in China? So yeah, I thought I'd ask your opinion. Maybe I should just fit it. One lad said, oh, I've heard they don't last long. I thought, well, I'll play this by you, £25. It's sort of cheap enough to dispense with. I mean, 20, you know what £25 gets you? If you go to a bike shop, a more tracks clock. And I've now got a clock for £4. You know what I mean? So that's £25. So if it is crap, I'll get an EBC one for 80 in springtime and scrap that. But like I said, this mate at work said, oh, what if, what if it's just crap drop forward stuff and it just shatters on a ride out and that digs into your brake pads, locks your back wheel up and you go down the road at 80 miles an hour. I said, oh, don't talk that. So thanks very much. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so that came with a little backing play, which is not necessary. With your little clip on one. What, what are you meant to clip that onto? Is it for bicycles? Oh, well, yeah. Clip it onto anything, can't you? It's a nipple clamp. No, I'll show you where it's going. If I don't steam up. <sighs> So here we are, in my bike shelter. Oh, have I left here? Oh my man, that's right. Hmm, no sign of any salt damage, because uh, like I said, when I come home, squirt it with the muck off, leave it for 20 minutes, rinse it off, and everything's fine, no white spots or nothing. Yeah, so this is getting Velcro on, like I said. It nearly matches the blue, doesn't it? In fact, it does. And it's going on there. So I won't be using the heated grips in summer. It's easy to see, isn't it? The reason I got that is that isn't waterproof. Well, this probably isn't, but it's just a backup. <laughs> You're going to say impulse buy, aren't you? I saw it, it was blue, it was £4 with free pause. So yeah, sorry, I, I'll just, that's, that's why I bought it. Hey, is that green, little green things, little green blobs, are they glow in the darks? don't think so, let's have a look. on the hands as well. It's not dark enough to tell, is it? It might be. Hmm. So there we are. eBay. How do we manage before eBay? All these goodies for bikers. Cheap. Uh, what was I going to say? I'm going to look at that disc, weren't I? Now can you see, can you see, a bit of torch in here, handy, no I haven't, 
but you can see it's open can't you and all that like i said before is all rough and grotty so oh, it's coming off so if i can scrape that off carefully with the edge of a chisel and then rough it up and then paint it it might be worthwhile to see how loose the allen bolt is just try it with my little hand one it's only that wide though the hand one i could get a long reach one on it couldn't i let's test it and like i said i've noticed that's actually smoothing out it's not quite as bad as i thought when i asked up last year I was telling him, why do you need a new disc? I said, because I messed up last year. I heard just <laughs> Every time I applied the back brake, when I was testing that new camera here, the camera picked up this me me metallic grinding noise. <laughs> it didn't twig for me to check what it was. And after a couple of weeks of I looked down and it was scored to hell and the bloody pads were non-existent. They wore them right down. Therefore, I've got this disc because I'm worried if that's too thin now. Now it's worn all the grot away. Is it too thin? I can feel a step there. And one at the top. So, like I said, for £25, you can't really argue unless I've bought dangerous crap. So, like I said, I'd uh, welcome your advice. What's that? Yeah, BSA Spitfire. And that's a BSA Thunderbolt. I was saying about Philippe Yules when he had the big bossing. I said, I've got a question for him. Why doesn't he buy the BSA brand or just the badge, the rights to the badge? And you can actually send to India for the plastic badges. Nicer than that, the red with a gold star in. And the BSA with a little wing on, a £50 a pair from India. One's like a teardrop shape, about that big, and the other's a circular one, four inch across that big. Same price. Oh, that's a teardrop one, but in red. It's eBay again, but from India. Why did the, the Indians make them? Do they own the BSA badge over there? <coughs> someone was saying about that um, interceptor. I was looking at someone else's. What's it called? Chronicles of Mr. Fish. He's tested the interceptor as well. It's not arrived yet up here. And he was saying, well, one of the commenters said, I prefer the Kawasaki W800. If I want those Kawasaki's, I think I'd take the Kawasaki badge off and fit one of those Indian BSA badges. And I'll just glue it on. Just to make it. <laughs> Look like, I wouldn't put Kawasaki on, but I obviously copied from a British design bike, you know what I mean? I'd have a BSA badge on. Or even a Triumph. <coughs> but yeah, I was uh, saying to Philip Yules when that big boss come to his shop, have you any questions? I said, yeah, tell him to buy the BSA brand and turn out some big twins and with a BSA badge on. I said, they'd sell just because of the prestige of the where the badge is on the bike. Oh, come to the evening and tell him. But I were on uh, this shift, I thought I'd be in bed. Plus it started pouring down. So I didn't go. Anyway, so that's all for today. Disc and a nice little clock. Lovely that, isn't it? Blue. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Any advice will be welcome. Oh, by the way, Alan, the worst arrived. That was from eBay. £8 free post. And that's a plus, brake cleaner plus. And that's the one I got from Halfords. Maybe it's better to have two of everything, different brands, and see which is best. <coughs> and on that bombshell, I will say goodbye again.